top of the morning guys Ureno back in the EV look at that fully charged ready to go here we got login to mentor and the flex app All right, we're not looking good today, boys. 18 bags, 30 overflows. It looks all right, okay? Yeah, that looks all right. But here we are, 187 stops, 68 group stops, 341 packages. Oh my God. The day I decide to do a video, I get 190 stops. All right, guys, it's time to get serious. You know when I put the headband on, it's go time. I gotta get pumped up for the day. I can't lose when I'm with you. All right, as you guys saw, I have a lot of work to do. Almost 190 stops. So I'm gonna put my head down and get to work. I like to work ahead than working from behind. So cue the delivery montage. Place an order uh, for Chris. Thank you. So it's uh, breaded chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, onions. Can't go wrong. It's all right. Mediocre. In the middle i'm not saying it's bad but i'm not saying it's the greatest thing i ever had i was just delivering packages and this is what i see baby raccoons hey buddy they just ran out of the road they're so beautiful it's so pretty hey cat caught a mouse oh the runaway cat the baby rat baby mice All right, guys, it's now it's time for the main topic of the video. Five things I hate about the Rivian. All right, hate is kind of a strong word. Five things I really dislike about the Rivian slash things I wish they could do better. Now, don't get me wrong. I love this thing. Look, it's so cool. It's so high tech. This is the future. It's just so awesome. And the way it looks, it's like I'm driving like a big boat. But instead on water, I'm driving on land. It's just crazy. Big beluga. But with that being said, there are a few things that could have been better. I've been in a lot of vehicles and I kind of know why I like and why I don't like. If the people at Rivian are watching this, take out a pen, get a piece of paper and start taking some notes. Hopefully you can fix these problems for maybe a refresh version of the Rivian. Or wait, better yet, the electric step fans. Oh my God, if they had electric step fans, that'd be the craziest thing ever. But yeah, get ready to take some notes because I'm going to spit some hard truths. All right, we're gonna start off with some minor inconveniences. These didn't make it on the list. They're just something that bugs me just a little bit. Maybe Rivian can fix them. Seatbelt is in a weird position. It's like far back. This is what I mean. Usually in a normal car or a step van, the seatbelt is like right here. I can just grab it and right there. I've done it so many times I know where it is. But the Rivian, it's like, hold on. It's like back back here. It's like someone's breaking my arm. Now I think Rivian knew this was a small problem because they have this little strap on the seat. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go like this and you're supposed to button it up like that. So the seatbelt isn't too far. 
But as you can see right there, this, this uh, little button thing always pops off, which I hate about. I wish it was like a Velcro strap or something better to hold it because the button always falls. So now the seatbelt goes like that, so it's easier. Just grab it like that. But the button thing is so, it just pops off too easy. I had it come off like five, six times one time, and I was just like, you know what? F this. F it. My next inconvenience is regenerative braking. Did I say that right? Well, basically, in the Rivians, when you step on the gas, you go, okay? That's, um, everyone knows that. So the Rivians have this special braking where you don't really have to use the brake pedal. You can just use solely gas pedal. It's when you let off the gas, the van will come to a slow stop. So I'm going to demonstrate you with these two cameras. So you can see what I see. And here on the bottom left corner, right corner is my foot pedal. Press on the brakes and we're going to put it in the drive. Okay. And we're just going to solely use the gas pedal. As you can see, I'm pushing gas on it. And here's a stop sign, right? So if I, if I want to stop, all I got to do is let off the gas and it'll come to a slow stop, like just like that. And as you can see, I could take off my pedal and we're still stopped, which is pretty cool. It's like brake hold in my Honda Civic. And if we just want to go, all we got to do is hit the pedal. Oh no, my foot pedal. No! So we're going to put it back in drive and our next stop is like 10, 20 feet away. So all we got to do, put some gas. And if we just want to stop, all we got to do is let off the gas very slow. You can do it abruptly like this, but it's kind of weird. Now, if you have a heavy foot or you have bad motor skills with your foot, um, you probably won't like regenerative braking, but I want to say it's um, a good thing overall. It just takes a little time to get used to. All right, another thing I don't like is this little pad thing right here is supposed to be a wireless charger, right? And for the life of me, I could never get to charge my phone. Now my phone does support wireless charging, but it just never charges. I think they lied to me. I tried playing around with it. I tried putting my phones in different positions. It just, just never seems to charge. I feel like wireless charging is kind of like a gimmick. I find that when you use the wire, it charges twice as fast compared to wireless charging. And wireless charging makes my phone like really hot. It's cool, but wired is a lot better. Charge! The next minor inconvenience on the list is the passenger seat. If you guys watched my videos before, you know what I'm gonna say. This seat is way too low. It goes all the way down here, and there's probably maybe like two feet of clearance from the floor to the bottom seat. So look, look how I'm gonna sit. Look at this. It's like I'm sitting on a chair for kindergartners. If I was a helper for whoever is driving this Rivian, I would be a little sad. I mean, it's not terrible. You can have brought at least like a foot or two higher, so it would be more like that. But <laughs> I feel like a little kid. All right, five things I wish Rivian did better. So let's go start from bad to worse. Starting with number five, I wish they made the driver door a sliding door. So the passenger door slides, and I, I really appreciate that about delivery vehicles, especially in the step vans. That's one of the reasons why I like it more than the Rivian. So having a passenger door isn't bad, but the experience would be a lot better if it was a sliding door. That way you can feel all the wind in your hair and your body and it feels good. And if you want to close the door for air conditioning, you can do that too. And not just that, these doors are really heavy. You can definitely feel it when you open and close the door. So when I open this door, whew, it's hefty. Just look how big that door is, guys. I think you can imagine how heavy it is. Like if I was like an 80 pound girl and this door somehow broke and fell on top of me, I don't think I'd be able to get out. Sometimes when I have a delivery on my driver's side, instead of going through the driver's side door, I go all the way around to deliver the package. And when I come back, I go all the way around the vehicle to get back to my driver's seat. I don't know why I do this. Do you guys do that? I just do it all the time. All right, number four on the list is the cargo fan. In the back of the cargo space, there is no ventilation at all. Here in the EV Rivian, we have the cargo fan. But there's really one problem. Here, let me turn it on for you so you can see. Or hear for yourself. Alright, turn it on. And this is what it sounds like. It sounds like a jet engine. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but it's really loud in here and it's quite annoying. And I'll be honest with you, I don't feel anything at all. 
you only feel the fan when you're right below it. It's so loud I can't even hear myself think. If they put an AC back here, up here, oh, it would have been perfect. But the cargo pan, very useless. Don't use it, it's annoying, it'll drive you crazy. Number three on the list, I wish the cargo door had a physical open and close button. So when I did the training for this vehicle, the Amazon trainer told me to pretty much never touch the door. It opens and closes all electronically. He had a sense that you don't want to break it by opening and closing it while it's doing it electronically. So I was like, whatever. So when you put it in drive or walk away from it, it closes. And when you put the EV into park, it automatically opens. And if you want to open or close it, the only way you can do so is with this button on the screen right here, the magic door button. I find myself using this button a lot, but I just wish it was a physical button somewhere closer to the door and not on the screen. So usually I have to look at the screen and usually nine times out of 10, there's like a glare and it's hard to find. And sometimes I misclick and click the volume button or the seat warmer. And I just wish there's a physical button somewhere here so I can open and close it. And another thing too, the screen is just all touch screens. I wish there was buttons on the bottom. A lot of car manufacturers are going for touchless and all screen, but when you're driving, that's not what you really want. You want at least a few buttons so you know, you're focused on the road and you can just feel around for what you need. Car manufacturers are going the wrong way with having no buttons on their infotainment systems. Number two on the list, this vehicle needs more storage compartments. It's very bare bones in here. So when I'm driving, I really like to have my sunglasses and I like to keep them in hand. But here there's really no place to put my snacks on and in hand's reach. And the step in, there's a compartment right here on the bottom uh, where I put my sunglasses, my keys, my phone, my wallet. But here in the Rivian, there's really no place where you can put um, your glasses, your um, snacks and have it in hand's reach. I guess you can put behind the screen but then you forget about it and it also melts in the sun if you have like chocolate bar. But there's no place to really put them except like right here where the phone's supposed to be. And there's like no cabins up here. There's no storage space. A lot of vehicles have like plastic bags just in case there's a spillage. You want all that liquid going everywhere so you put in a plastic bag, towels, Windex, stuff that you need just in case. There's no place to put it in the Rivian. If I want a water cooler, there's really no place to put it on the floor. Here's like a curved ledge that is unnecessary. And look at this. Do you know where the proof of insurance goes? Right here in the passenger seat, tucked behind it. Registration, all the paperwork. I have no idea where it goes. I don't even know where it is. And the number one thing I wish Rivian did better was a translucent roof. The Amazon step vans and FedEx trucks all have translucent roofs. And having that natural sunlight really helps me see the packages now it's not a problem with normal eyesight but when it's a sunny day i love to wear my sunglasses and i think every driver should and when i come back here and try to look at the addresses with my sunglasses on with these lights they, they just don't work as well as if we had these lights plus a translucent roof i find myself doing this a lot of the times peeking through my sunglasses trying to find the addresses i just need that natural sunlight so i can see the packages better and I think the natural sunlight makes me look better when I shoot back here. All right, guys, I'm going to start wrapping it up. Um, like I said, I had 190 stops. And making YouTube videos while doing 190 stops is not really optimal. I hope you guys enjoy. If you learned something new, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Later.